Hey guys, welcome back. Studio Ghibli magical art is everywhere right now, from social media to AI generated artwork as well. You can also create your own Ghibli style images using ChatGPT's API and integrate them directly into Appian. In this tutorial, I will show you step by step how to use the Open AI API to generate Ghibli inspired art, test in Postman, and also integrate into Appian as well. So here you can see. I have created a site here called image creator. So here you have to give your prompt and based on that prompt there is a button called generate image it will call that api and here you will be able to get the image as well so currently you can see here i have given a prompt based on that it has generated the image so i can copy some another prompt as well and now let's click on generate image so when you are trying to generate the image actually it will take some time for, to generate the image it takes around 15 to 20 seconds of time and based on that it will generate the image so here you can see the image has now been generated here and based on whatever we have given it has tried to generate some image. So we will see that which endpoint of open AI to call and how to generate it. So the very first thing that you have to do here is that you have to go to the platform.openai.com and from here you have to create your API key. So how you can do that? Go to your profile button and click on your profile here. So once you will click on your profile here you will get the API keys. So here you have to create a new secret key for yourself and just by creating the api key will not work you have to purchase the plan as well so i've already purchased the plan that's why my image creation is working now let's go to the postman and check that which endpoint you have to call it so it will be quite easy if you test any api from the postman you will get to know the complete details about the api and then you can integrate into appian as well so this is the endpoint here api.openai com image generation so this is the endpoint you have to call it here and method will be post here you have to give two headers here authorization that is the api key of the chat gpt and the content type is application json and in the body you have to provide the model as daily because daily is the model uh, which helps to generate the images here and then you have to give a prompt create a zibli studio style photo with friends something like this or you know like any extensive prompts as well you can give it here n is the number of images you want it here and size is like what is the resolution of the image and the response format is base 64 here so we will also get to know that how can you save the base 64 images into appian as well so once you have done all these things so based on that you will get a response something like that in the base 64 format here and this base 64 format we will try to save into appian as well now let's try to start a tutorial in appian so let's go to our designer very first and let's try to create a connected system here so in the connected system we will use http because in our community we don't have the chat gpt connected system here we might have to install that so let's go to http and here we will write here chat gpt and the base url so go to the postman and see here the url till v1 is pretty much common in all the endpoints so this much will be our base url and after that we will use the authentication as api key here and in the header see here in the headers what we have used in here is authorization so authorization you have to give it here for the value part you have to copy the secret key that you have got and before the secret key you have to also paste the bearer and then paste let me show you like how you have to write so first of all you will write something like bearer space and then your api key so something like this will be the format so let me just copy and paste that and now i have pasted the value click on create here so your connected system is now ready here and click on save here and now we will try to create the integration object go to new and click on integration here we will try to select our chat gpt so here we have selected our connected system and now let's write the name of the connected system as create image click on create 
now in the relative part we have to complete the url here so go to the postman after the v1 here you can see some url is still left here we will copy that image generation part give a forward slash and paste it here and the method is going to be post here one more thing you have noticed that it has took 19 seconds to generate the image so sometime it can take more time as well so just for the safety purpose we will update the timeout to 30 seconds here so that we don't get a timeout error here after that we don't have any query parameters so we have headers one header we have already passed that is authorization another header we will just copy from here that is content type and paste it here and after that this is the value for that copy this one here and paste it so this is the another header here and in the request body we have to just copy whatever the body that we have given here just copy the complete body and paste it here and see here whatever the body that you will give automatically appian will convert into json if you have selected the content type as json here so you don't have to actually provide the json format exactly just provide a map kind of format format and that will be enough so now you can see that i have modified and kept it only the map format here and after that this prompt is going to be a rule input because user will provide that rule input here so create a new rule input and write the value as prompt click on text and here we will give ri bank prompt give comma here and here you can see that convert json value to appian value and in that json if any base64 is coming here it will convert that into the document as well but let's try to give a prompt here before converting into the json here so this is one of the prompt that i have given here and click on test request so see here first of all it will try to give you the json response and then that json response will contain the base64 uh, image as well and then we will convert convert that image into the appian document image so that we will see how can we do that so now you can see here we have got a success a message here and it has taken around 16 seconds of time here and here you can see the data is there and the base 64 is also there but this time no image has been created here so in order to create the image you have to check this base 64 to appian documents here and based on that one only it will ask you that where you want to save that image into appian and see as of now all these things are disabled let it be disabled click on test request once again so once again it will try to create the request but this time it will try to store that image as well so this time again we have hit the request and here you can see that we have checked that base 64 to appian document and by default appian has located where in the response base 64 is present so fb bank result dot body dot data dot base 64 json and it has given a temporary name as well base 64 png and now you can specify that in which folder it should go and save here so we will write here yt artifacts so i have given a folder that in this folder it should go and save here and once again if you try to test the request here then what will happen is that now it will try to create a document image for that which will be stored in that particular folder here we will try to see that so now you can see here i have again tested the request here yt artifacts and it has now tried to store the image here and the value that you are seeing seeing here is 994609 that is nothing but a document image id is there so if you open that particular folder here here you will get a base 64 image and this is the base 64 image and this is the ghibli art image that you are getting here so it is by default storing that in appian that folder that you have specified here click on save your changes and now we will try to use the same request in the ui as well we will see that how can you call a post request in the ui how can you get the output response from a post request and so the image as well first of all we will go to the designer and we will click on new interface here and let's write the name as create image and click on create so here you can see that a new interface has been created here so first of all we will take a card header layout here and in that card header layout i will add a card layout two cards layout i will try to add it one to show the image and one to give the prompt as well and in that we will take a text field where we can give the prompts so here we will write that enter your prompt below this one we have to take a button layout as well so this button layout we will try to take it just below this 
card layout here and in this button layout we have to go and align this button in the center here so go to the button array layout and let's align in the center part here and now let's go to the expression here and in this button we will try to write the name here as a generate image and let's take the width here as we will try to fill the width so it has filled the width here and in this card layout let's take the margin as margin above will be even more so it will have some space between both of them so that the images will get stored here and after that here we will have to take the image field but first of all the very important part here is that how can you call the post api here so in this image only we have to call the post api first of all let's try to create a local variable so that we store the prompt because without prompt we won't be able to create the image here so local bank prompt we have taken and after that in this text field here we will keep a value prompt and the save into as well will be local bank prompt so all the prompt will get saved here and in this one image here we have to use the save into see post integrations will be called only inside the save into parameter only either it is a button or a smart service in the save into it is called and now you have to copy the integration here and now here in the integration you have to paste that name here and here first of all we will give the prompt prompt value is going to be here local bank prompt and after that there is see here this is the input that we have given but how it will give the output so on success and on error these are the two parameters on which based on that it will give the output here so we will try to store the result here and also one variable for the error as well so let's try to add the on success here on success is going to be here a bank save you have to write so the value th where we want to save the data is in the result and fb bank result we have to save it and see here how appian has saved same thing we can try to replicate it fb bank result dot body dot data complete thing it has you know like done that by default same thing we will do in our interface as well fb bank result we will also write here dot body dot data and then you can also write here b64 underscore json b64 underscore json so same value we have tried to return it here as well and it will try to save the data after that if it is any error so on error it we will try to save another value here a bank save target is going to be local bank error and the value is let's say that there was an error so something like this we have given here save your changes and now let's try to configure a image field here so we what we will do here is we will take a image field here and we will take the images so the image is going to be the document image so it will be a document image where the document image will come basically we are saving base 64 anywhere here and that is nothing but a document id only so let's try to save that local bank result directly here and we will try to see that whether it will show or not images we have taken and after that we will also use a show when here when it is not null or empty what local bank result we will keep it here when it is not null or empty then only show it now we will try to write a prompt here so let's go to the integration the same prompt i will just try to copy here and paste here as well and now i will click on generate image see when the image is generating here so as of now the result would be empty but once the integration will get the value this will get populated with the document id that you require so document along with the name of the document as well so here the document id will get populated see as soon as the document id got populated here you can see the image is automatically fetching here and if you want to customize this image field more you can customize the way you want it it won't be much issue here the main thing that we wanted to see here was that how can we call the endpoint to generate the image into appian second point we learned was that how can we save base64 image that 
directly into the appian folders here how to call the post api into a button save into here so that we are directly able to get the image here and that's it guys now you can generate beautiful ghibli style ai images right inside appian try experimenting with different prompts as well and you will get different kinds of images as well and one of the challenge is that you need the paid version here so in the api key you will be able to freely create it but it won't work in the uses if you go then you will be able to get like how many images you have used 19 images how many things are remaining here how much budget you have utilized so that kind of value you will get it so if you you want to learn about the open ai apis different endpoints here so so you have to purchase some tokens for the open ai then you will be able to hit the endpoints of open ai as well and you will get a proper response for that as well and that was all for now guys we'll meet again in some another video thank you